How can a person live on a natural high? I don't even understand the question. Like, how do you get a natural high? How do you keep it? What's the question? The reality is that a person's not going to be on a high the whole time, and you're going to get the high sometimes, and you're going to have to try to find your way back to the high. Um, that's, that's the point of life, that you have to try to get back to that high. I heard nutmeg does the job. You have to have Tylenol sometimes. Meditation. A good bargain is a high for me. Don't go to sleep five days and then just whatever you do, put so much energy into everything and just see the results. I've never tried it, but it's definitely something I'd like to do. Or is really natural to us. It's just that we're closing our eyes tight. If you look at electrons in your hand and the greatness of man, you have to live in a different world than the one we we're living in. I remember as a kid, uh, I was 11 years old, there was a hurricane out in Lawrence. It was a hurricane, and I was in the home. It was glass windows, of course, and a tree was uprooted. A 50-foot tall tree was uprooted and was bouncing down the road, standing up upright. It was bouncing down the road. And I was awestruck. I, I, just, I was just watching it, and in the top of my head, I was saying to myself, Noah, you better get under a bed or in a closet. <laughs> you know, glass, shattered glass can, can do it. But it was so awesome that I just forgot myself. I, I, it, didn't, it didn't matter. I had to watch this. Well, any of anybody who's uh, been in an earthquake or a hurricane or has been on the ocean with 50-foot waves, <laughs> he knows that the power is, is just overwhelming and we don't care about ourselves. It's, it's something to see. You, you want to see this overwhelming power. Now there's quiet awe. Quiet awe is just go out any night when the outside of a city and you look up at the sky and you see the beautiful stars so far away and you understand it's billions of light years away, billions of light years away. And we're a little speck on Earth and the stars and a speck. Who are we? It's, it's overwhelming. It's awe, the power of the universe. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling and it takes you out of the mundane. People walk through life on a mundane basis. It's like pedestrian. You have this experience, you know, it's, it's, it's fabulous trying to keep the juices flowing, keep stimulated. It's nothing worse than falling into a rut. Billions of people live on a natural high and uh, they experience it every day and ask them how they feel and how, how, how they like it. Just always be happy. So how, how is it that we can have this feeling all the time? Well, really, it's how come we don't have this feeling all the time? Every one of you has watched television. Every one of you has been on a plane. I mean, you know what a plane, can you imagine a plane landing in Rome? <laughs> you know, it's just old Rome with Caesar and the Roman Empire with their, with their haughty ways. And you just come in with a 747 and land and people just get off. People will be bowing to you. <laughs> like, what? Huh? Wow. And we sit in the plane with board stiff. Huh? <laughs> but if you know so much that is absolutely awe-inspiring. Do you know, there's no, no, there's no, this is air, space, with electrons whizzing at the speed of light. That's what it is. And when I move a finger, I'm sending an electron from the opposite side. You see, right here, opposite side, I'm sending an electron, go through, and, <laughs> and, and what's it moving? A stream of electrons are moving. A stream. It's all a stream of electrons holding together by gravity. <laughs> you just open your eyes. We know today, we know the DNA, we can do gene transplants, we can do... There's so much that's all inspiring that to see and to live in a mundane world is, is ridiculous. But what good is it to have this awe? Look, all pleasures, that's what we're here for, all pleasures. Awe is a pleasure, it's energizing, but it's much more. Awe particularly opens you up. If you want to do brainstorming, or you want to get out of depression, or you want, it just opens things up, ding, it's a different world. You're, you're living in a different world. Living on a natural high is appreciating everything in life, and 
appreciating the little things like a beautiful sunset or the waves in the ocean. Just see the world in a positive light and you know, everything will make you happy and you can float on that. Now you want to know what's the most awesome thing that you ever met? That's a human being. The prophet King David says, when I lift my eyes to the heavens and see your handiwork, the stars and the space, I exclaim, what is man that you should take note of him? And the child of man that you should care for him? And yet you have left him but a little less than God. And with beauty and with meaning have you crowned him. So the prophet explains that the most awesome creation that the Almighty made is man. We are the ones that can put a plane in the sky and we can find out about the electrons and how a human being works and how the world works. And we can create a beautiful world or destroy it. That's every human being that you meet. Open your